Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my brush guard that I adapted to fit my Power King tractor. As you can see, it looks pretty cool with the headlights on. Alright, I'll set off my tractor and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, and I'll take my tripod and I'll move a little bit closer. You can see it. And I'll tell you first about the parts that I bought for it. I bought the toolbox off Zorro.com. And the bottom one is a toolbox, see? There's the number, A5A30R, from Zorro.com, the toolbox. If I do it again, instead of orange, I would order probably black. It would match better. Okay? Also, that toolbox, I'll show you, is pretty much made to mount on a fender, so the back side... Could let water and dust in but if it's mounted flush against the fender it, it probably wouldn't um, but it's good enough since this tractor is going to be stored inside okay i bought this bracket here at tractor supply i bought two of them i bought this bracket at tractor supply i bought one of them and cut it in half so I get both of both sides. And this is the brush guard which I bought off of Amazon.com. And it's made to fit a John Deere X300 or X500. And I had to adapt it. Okay, now I'll take the camera off the tripod. And I'll do a close-up so you can see. So like all my projects, since I don't know how to weld, and I can't help that, um, I bolt everything together. So I'll explain some of the brackets here. This shape bracket here, this galvanized one, that came off of a garage door opener. See, there's two of them. The uh, brush guard, I had to cut the bottom. So it would slip in between here. I cut a little bit off and I bolted it in. This bumper, uh, this is what John had installed on it. And I th think he told me that was a Craftsman bumper. Okay, and the tow hooks were in another video I did. No, I bought those at Harbor Freight. Okay. And there's the toolbox number again. Agricultural and Industrial AI Products. Okay, this bracket here, this was a tractor supply bracket, and that's the one I cut in half. The L one. Okay, I modeled this after a brush guard off a of Kubota. This is the other tractor supply bracket to hold my toolbox, and I shimmed it out. I'll paint this all black so it'll all blend together. This is the front view of it. And I had to make sure that clearance wise, uh, my hood would open and then also it wouldn't hit my snow plow. So, how did I do that? This is what I did here. If I do it over again, I would put, I'd make this piece right here a little bit longer and have a pin. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower these brackets in here. And uh, I'm going to put a pin in there probably. But what I have now is just a chain link. Runs down to here and it's a spring operated apparatus. And this spring came off of a, of a grill igniter. So all you have to do is pull this out. And then you slip that off of there. Oops. Hard to see. When it, there we go. And that'll just go back into the hole, obviously. 
and then this will tilt down out of the way. I'll latch this so my toolbox don't open. Actually, I'll show it to you in the inside. So I'll latch it shut. I'll put it down again. So how do I get it so it stays in position? This bracket here is bolted. And then I double nut at this. And this stops right on here so it can't go further back and hit the hood. So I'll shut it and I'll show it operation. See? There. Come on. I've got nice clearance here. And you can push on it. You can push the tractor if you need it to. But obviously the chain has a little slack, so it will come down a little bit like this much. But that's that's okay. It's mostly to you know protect the front end. I'll probably put that pin in some other time. Okay, so I'll put it down. And I'll put the camera in the tripod, and I'll open the hood. Get it straight, as straight as I can have it, and I'll show you with the hood open. And there it is. Okay, and then I'll shut it again. You can see it from a distance. does come down that far because it's slack in the chain but once I put the pin in there I won't do that anymore so you get the basic idea of how it works and if you want to build your own those are the parts you need the height is right and it looks nice I think so if you like my video please subscribe I'd appreciate it thank you